And now, we present to you. Seriously. Ignorant. News. S I N. Just ignorant. It's a little disturbing. Ignorant. I could understand if it was 200 years ago. Seriously. For real? S I E. Seriously. Ignorant. Damon's at the Tampa Improv this weekend, and tickets are available at improvtampa.com. He's in the car on his way to the airport. He's on his way to Los Angeles. Kim, he wants you to save him a seat at, at Spoon's funeral. Now, he, he might make it before me. Save me one. <laughs> oh, that's our deal. Oh, <laughs> Senior, deal. Chief, Senior Chief Correspondent Damon Williams reports on a woman who is helping students in her own way. Seriously, <laughs> Damon? Seriously, Tom. As serious as a snaggatooth dentist. <laughs> I would never trust a snag of tooth no. dentist or a skinny chef. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Sybil. Good morning, Sherry. Is there the gang's out here? Hello, Mr. Yep. Williams. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on Listen, with guys, you? Not too much. Got to come out to Los Angeles for a meeting, so I'm definitely uh, going to come pay my respect to Mr. Bang, Bang, Bang with a spoon. Absolutely. And there'll be a lot of Indeed. comics there. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Uh, yeah. But check this out. All right, this first story, comments that have been all over these stories. The first one is authorities in Louisiana uh, said a woman at a medical clinic has been arrested. She's 52 years old. Her name is uh, Belinda Gale Fondren, and she was charged with filling or maintaining false public records because she had a side hustle of selling doctor's notes to high school students. Doctor's notes. That's a good <laughs> What, what, yeah. what was wrong with that kid? I, I should have made some money when I was in high school doing that. Yeah, everybody should have. She was getting $20 a pop for these excuses. And what happened was two students overdid it, and they had uh, like 14 excuses. So uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> the school called the, uh, the doctors off the doctor said, I ain't never treated none of these people, and I ain't authorized none of these notes. So that lady is in big trouble. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, but and I wonder how she got caught up in that. You know, probably the parents were probably mad she wasn't writing doctor's notes for them to get off work. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, twenty bucks for a day off with PTO, that's all right. I pay that. Yeah. But this second story, the time this one's for you, man. Uh all right. you know how we get out. All right. So a, a, a club in Germany uh, had to be evacuated because they had a carbon monoxide alarm that went off. And several guests said they were feeling unwell. About 13, 14 people weren't feeling good, but it was over 300 people in the club. The 300 people had to be evacuated. It took about 160 medical professionals and first responders. But the trip that far was this was a swingers club. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's not Three. why they wasn't feeling good. <laughs> 300 swingers had to be evacuated, most of them clad only in robes because the detector went off. Now, the crazy part is the authorities said after they got everybody out, only a few people weren't feeling well, but they checked the levels of monoxide. It was none to be found. <laughs> so apparently, somebody's ass was out of pocket. <laughs> 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 even though even though carbon monoxide detects, uh, only detect the odorless gas, maybe somebody was silent and deadly. But it turned out, it turned out there was no carbon monoxide. They didn't say what happened with the rest of the people if they were able to come back in the club. But I report to you on my way about to run through the airport, on my way to L.A. and see you at Tampa this weekend. Right. Go, O.J., go, O.J. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't call me.